Welcome back here on Live Now from Fox 911 over on the East Coast and 611 on the West Coast. You are taking a live look right here over Gaza with this view from Israel, and you can see that smoke there rising in the distance. Now at this hour, sirens are sounding around Israel as a barrage of rockets are being fired in their direction. We've seen that happening over the past two months here. There are initial reports that one person was injured in central Israel in a rocket attack. In the meantime, Israeli forces are battling Palestinian militants in Gaza's two largest cities, with civilians still trapped in the fighting. Trey Inks with Fox News is live for us now over in southern Israel. And Trey, what are you seeing? What are you hearing today? Are you hearing those sirens that are going off there? Yeah, hey, Josh, quite a lot of activity along the southern front today, 66 days into the war between Israel and Hamas. The factions inside Gaza have maintained their ability to fire on major population centers. Earlier today, rockets targeted central Israel, sending hundreds of thousands of people to bomb shelters. Also, many of the southern communities, including this one, took fire from Gaza. It comes as Israeli forces are ramping up their strikes against the Strip. They are targeting not just areas around Gaza City and in the northern part of Gaza behind me, but also further south in the second largest city of Khan Yunis. There is a concerted effort by the Israelis to go after Hamas leadership and also look for any of the hostages that are still inside Gaza. And this is expected to be something that takes weeks and, and possibly even months as this war continues. Josh. And we've talked a lot about Hamas, but I want to talk a little bit more about the concerns here over Hezbollah because we've seen a lot of uh, fighting there between uh, Israel and over along the Lebanon border there with Hezbollah as well, right? Absolutely. The Israelis are prepared for this to turn into a much larger conflict. Already, the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah, Iran's largest proxy in the region, has gotten directly involved, firing rockets and anti-tank guided missiles into northern Israel. Now, this has often drawn a heavy response from the Israelis. And just yesterday, the chief of staff here, Herzl Halevi, went to the north to visit with troops so that he could get a sense of what the situation is on the ground and the level of preparedness for his forces. We also understand, according to Israeli media, that Israel has set out an ultimatum, a deadline for Hezbollah to find diplomatic solutions to remove their fighters from Israel's northern border or face a much more direct confrontation with the Jewish state. Now, if this happens, Israel faces a larger conflict than the one they're currently fighting behind me inside Gaza. You can hear some of those airstrikes continue to take place against the northern part of the Gaza Strip. But if Hezbollah, this Lebanese militant group, gets directly involved in the fighting at a larger level, you would see more rockets and missiles raining down on Israeli cities than we've seen already in the conflict with Gaza. Josh. And talking about the Houthi rebels, that's something else that's going on there over in the Red Sea. We've seen video that has now been released by the U.S. showing uh, the USS Kearney, I believe, as it was firing to shoot down those uh, Houthi drones that are out there. So I imagine this is coming from uh, several different ends here because you have Hezbollah, you have the Houthis, and of course, Hamas. Absolutely. You have these Iran-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen that have capability to fire drones, ballistic missiles, and cruise missiles toward Israel. They're also threatening American interests in the region. We know that the Americans are trying to help Israel with their defense, but Israel has a multi-tiered defense system. They have not only the Iron Dome, they also have David Sling and the Aero system that can be used to shoot down any sort of missiles from places like Yemen. The question here is really how the Americans and how the Israelis will respond against the Houthis in Yemen, because they understand they have, have quite the arsenal of capabilities that have been provided by Iran, and they're also directed by the Islamic Republic. So it creates yet another front that Israel has to deal with in this developing conflict and the possibility that Iran uses the Houthis to get more, uh, more pressure on Israel as they work to destroy Hamas inside Gaza. All right, Trey Inks there with Fox News joining us live from southern Israel. Trey, as always, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us. And please, please stay safe out there. Thank you.